Hello and cry Cosgadden from St Day Methodist Church. Welcome to the midweek reflection for Falmouth and Gwennett Circuit. Um, as you are watching this this morning, I'm at work. So, after 10 weeks of lockdown, you're back at work. How do you feel about that? So. Uh, I imagine the same as everybody else. A bit scared, a bit worried. We're going through a real time of transition now. I, I've got used to being at home for 10 weeks. I've enjoyed being with you. <laughs> uh, I've had more time for my crafts um, and my gardening. Um, so for me, um, apart from missing my family, my children, my parents, um, lockdown hasn't been too bad. Um, I just, I'm hoping that my colleagues are okay. I've not had much contact with them. Um, I'm hoping and trusting that they're following the guidelines the same as me. So what is your greatest fear about going back to work? Um, I think that when we start to work with the public again in a month's time, um, it kind of scares me because I'm scared, I suppose, that not everyone will be following the social distancing guidelines and that we may have people come into the library that have the virus and they might spread it around our staff. That, that bothers me. But your organisations... Um, taking precautions to me. Yeah, think. we'll have PPE, but I think the same as my colleagues and anyone working with the public, we've probably all got the same fears. Right. So you said that uh, lockdown wasn't too bad. What have been some of your highlights of lockdown? Time, having time, not rushing, not having to clock watch. Uh, as I said, the, the time to spend on my hobbies that I, I've struggled to find before. Time to spend with God in prayer and reflection without that busyness. And now that you're coming out of lockdown, what elements of that are you going to try and sustain going forward? Making time to do the important things and not be rushing about all of the time. Yeah, right, yeah, that's so interesting. I'll miss you when you go back to work. I can assure I'll you it's been you nice. too. <laughs> But I, I do know that um, I can trust God to look after me mm. when I return. Um, there's been a theme keeps recurring at the moment about God being our rock. Um, what do you mean by that? Well, an example is Psalm 18, verse 2. Um, the Lord is my rock, my fortress, and my deliverer. My God is my rock in whom I take refuge. He is my shield and the horn of my salvation, my stronghold. I call to the Lord who is worthy of praise. And I'm saved from my enemies. Um, and another coincidence along these lines, although I don't believe in coincidence, I believe God is behind these things. Um, my friend sent me an email containing this excerpt from a book, Beauty from Ashes, by Jennifer Rees Larkham. Um, in it, if I quote directly from her, she says, when we spent our summer holidays in Scotland when I was a child, and we loved exploring the paths behind my grandfather's house. Our favourite spot was a huge granite rock in the centre of the forest. You couldn't see it from the path, but in the centre it was a pink granite heart. When I had children of my own, I often told them about this place, and one day I decided to take them there. To my utter dismay, the Forestry Commission had felled the entire forest. All the trees, spongy moss and the fossil foxgloves were gone. A part of me felt desecrated and I just stood there gazing at it very near to tears. Then I saw my rock. There it stood, towering over the wreckage, just the same as ever. As I stepped into my familiar cleft, everything felt safe and normal again. When the landscape of our lives change, it is comforting to know that our rock of ages never changes. As we squeeze ourselves into that cleft, 
right to his heart. Things don't feel so frightening anymore. And this theme of God being a rock and being our refuge and the fact that we can squeeze ourselves right close into his heart, I find very comforting at this time. Um, I feel that at work I can be close to his heart and I can be safe. And it is learning to trust, I'm finding. Um, and I think that's going to be an ongoing journey for me to trust more and more. Thank you, Sue. That was wonderful. We would just like to finish by saying a short prayer. Heavenly Father, thank you for being my rock. Thank you for growing my feet a solid ground to stand on. Thank you, Father, that even in the storms of life, you are, in, you are my solid foundation. Amen. Amen. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Uh, God bless, and we'll see you all soon. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye.